I'm Aisha with Start to Finish Motherhood, and I wanted to talk about the holidays. Holidays are a time of year that can sometimes be tricky, and it's probably one of a few times of year that I practice radical kindness. You just don't know what the people around you are going through, what they're being exposed to, the things that weigh heavy on their hearts. So people can sometimes act a bit off during this time of year and you don't know why. So I practice radical acts of kindness. It doesn't matter where you are in life, what your relationship status is, whether you're married, a single person, a single parent by choice, a single parent, it just doesn't matter. There are challenges regardless of where you are in life. When I was married, the challenges that I had were around where we spend the holidays. And oftentimes it becomes a tug of war with what's fair, what's right, what you did last year, what we're doing this year. When I was a single person, there was a period of time where it was, hey, you know, to be single and go to all of the parties. But then at some point when you would get around family gatherings, everyone would gather together for the family event. You would have dinner together, but then people would break off into their family units as a single person. At least for me, I would sit there and be like, huh, this is feeling lonely in a sea of people. I have a huge family and lots of kids, but I was the one without kids. I was always the one bringing gifts for the kids and things of that nature. It was very lonely while you were still surrounded by a bunch of people and a bunch of love. And now as a single mother by choice, I enjoy the holiday season because I get to do it my way. I am real low key around the holidays because I think that there's a lot of external pressures for how the holidays have to go. And when I had kids as a single mom, there was a limit to what I could do. I wanted to do a few things well than to try to do a lot of things and really stress myself out. And also it created space for me and my girls to come together and create traditions. And some of the traditions we have, we do an advent calendar of chocolates. We split the chocolates. This was a fight this year. So next year, each of us will get our own advent calendar of chocolates. We still do Santa. And I do Santa with a twist because I do realize that there are little kids out there who are less fortunate. And so I tell my girls that their Santa looks like them. So a black Santa visits their house and that... Santa brings one gift per kid and then the other gifts the parents purchase. So it still keeps the magic alive, but it doesn't make boys and girls who don't have as much feel that even Santa might not care about them as much. And in my house, I try to be a minimalist in terms of what we bring in. And when we bring things in, we also have to clear things out. So each girl gets roughly two or three gifts from mom one small gift from Santa, and then the village will send gifts. And I try to send them a list of what the kids are into so that they can pick off of that list. I say all of that just to kind of keep in mind the reason for the season. And if you can practice radical acts of kindness, just because we don't know where people are and what they're struggling with. And on that note, I'm Aisha with Start to Finish Motherhood, and y'all have a good day.